Hello everyone. Today we're going to dip into our math toolboxes and try out some tasks where we explore the question, how many compared to the whole? In order to do this, you might choose some of your important counting tools such as adding or multiplication, but you will also need some other tools for the job. Let's take a look, shall we? First up are decimals. Next, we have fractions. Then we have ratios, part to part ratios that is, and finally percentages. These are called proportional reasoning tools and they all help us communicate information about portions or parts of a whole. It's okay if you're not familiar with them all, but we are curious to know which ones are the most useful for you. Here's what you're going to do. First, you're going to see some common math manipulatives, such as these tiles here. You're going to pause the video and figure out how many in the whole, and then how many in a particular part. The next step is to show how many red parts compared to the whole. I think I'm going to start with fractions to represent my thinking at first. What is the fraction of red tiles in this case? Hmm. Pause the video and discuss. If you came up with four twelfths, then good for you. There are four reds out of the total 12 tiles. And if you know how, it's also a good habit to simplify fractions when you can, like this. Okay, let's try part to part ratios next. Can you think of the ratio of red tiles to the other colors? Pause the video and discuss. If you came up with a ratio of four to, hmm, let's see, four to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four to eight, good. That's exactly right. However, if you can, simplify that ratio because a ratio of one to two is just so much nicer. Now let's give decimals a shot. This is going to be a little bit trickier and take some calculation. How might you express the fraction of red tiles as a decimal? Pause the video and discuss. Now, we already know the fraction of red tiles, one third, right? We just need to convert this fraction into a decimal. It's possible that you've had enough experience with decimals that you just know that one third is 0.3333333, etc. But if not, you can use division to figure it out. If you don't know how though, no worries. It just means that you have the opportunity if it makes sense. Finally, let's give percentages a go. What percentage of the shape is red? Pause the video and discuss. There is a nice tidy relationship between decimals and percentages, am I right? 0.3333333 becomes 33.3%. And there you have it, a complete set of tools for proportional reasoning. Again, you might not be familiar with all of these tools, but we hope that you'll give the ones you know a try.
And now that you're done, don't forget to snap a photo of all your hard work to share with your teacher. Thanks everyone.